Good morning again, everybody. So I wanted to come in here and show you a quick recipe that I love to make. It's super simple. It only has a few ingredients and it's actually a bread that you can eat on keto. So it's really easy to make. Um, you just need a mug and you need one egg and you're gonna crack that in the mug. <clears throat> and then all you're gonna do, oh, sorry, I got egg all over my fingers. You're gonna grab a fork and just mix that up really well. And then you're gonna add in a couple more things. So, oh, I can't believe I didn't open this. So you need some almond flour. I get this big bag from Walmart. It's about the cheapest price I can find for it. And you need a tablespoon. So you're gonna use three of these tablespoons of almond flour. So you're gonna add that to your cup. And then along with that, you're gonna need baking powder. And now with the baking powder, you have to be exact because if you put more than this, it's gonna blow up in the microwave. So you need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Remember that you have to be very precise with this because if not, it's gonna not work right. And then you also need coconut oil. You just need a tablespoon. The only thing I do is I just grab a big spoon and get you know what I can out of there. Um, I'm just going to use the rest of this because there's not very much left in it. So, let's do this here. And then you're just going to take and mix that up all together. Hey, Mom. Okay, so there's that. And then we're just gonna put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. So let me put that in there and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so we're, while we're waiting on that to get done, um, I'm gonna talk to you a few minutes about um, different things you can do with this bread. So I know a lot of people will take it and they'll put it in their toaster oven and they toast it and then they put, they make it themselves like an egg and cheese, um, like a sandwich, or you can add bacon to it, you can add anything you want really. Or you could just make this at any time and just have like a regular sandwich, you know, toast it, put some regular stuff on it. But the way that I like to do it is I actually Dad. like to take, I like to take this cream cheese spread <coughs> and then I put it on top and then I add my everything bagel seasoning to that. So let me grab a plate and a knife because we'll need that as well. <clears throat> you want to cut the This is my baby. He's gonna be over here helping me, I guess. He likes to eat eggs, so. <clears throat> He's in here keeping me company. If, um, Tina, if you will just swipe right, um, where the comments are, it'll take the comments away. Try that and let me know if it works. Okay, our bread is done. <clears throat> Tina, did that work? So just swipe right beside the names, swipe right and it'll take the comments away. So this is what our bread looks like. I'll try to hold it up so y'all can see better. And then all we're going to do is we're going to dump it out on our plate and we're going to cut it into slices. You're welcome. Alright, so we're going to just take that out and it just slides right out real easily. Um, now be careful because this is really, really hot. And then we're going to just take it and put it on its side. And then you're going to slice it up into, um, you know, how big, however big you want the slices to be. Sorry, I have everything in the way. But just be careful because it's really hot, like I said. So you just slice that up. I'm trying to hurry because I know you're 
ready to go, but you know, like I said, you can you can toast this if you want, and that piece kind of got messed up, but it's all right. So let me put this cream cheese spread on here and show you what this looks like. Um, if you have not tried this everything bagel seasoning, it's a dollar. It's like less than two dollars at Walmart. It's on the seasoning aisle. It's really good. It's got like garlic, onion, sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. I use this a lot in on this recipe, and you can use it for like chicken and vegetables. You can use it for a lot of different things. See, I'm almost out of it. I gotta get some more. But let's do this really quick. This one hadn't even been opened, so I gotta open that. All right, so you just take a little bit. I like a lot of cream cheese, so I'm probably gonna put a lot more than most people would. That's a little bit more than I usually would, but I will put this on here and let you know what it looks like. I like to make this a lot in the morning for breakfast. Um, it kind of reminds me of a bagel, but the healthier option. So that's what it looks like. And let me tell you how many carbs are in this. I think this one is zero. Yeah, well, this is less than one carb for a fourth a teaspoon, so that really don't have anything. And then this, on the other hand, this is two, it'll be two net carbs for two tablespoons. So this is going to be a little bit higher, and that's probably about one tablespoon, so about three or four um, net carbs for that, which is still not bad. And then you have to add in, you know, your almond flour, which is... It's one net carb for two tablespoons, and we used um, three. So that would be one, one and a half. I actually figured this out one time, but it's been a while since I figured that out. Um, let's see, they don't have any. So one and a half, and what did I say this was? Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to do this. Two, two, four, four, five and a half. So it's about five and a half net carbs total for this. That's not exact, but more or less. So that's not bad for a quick breakfast. Um, I know some of you want to stay lower on the carb in, but um, there you have it. 90 second bread, easy, quick recipe, delicious morning breakfast. And by the way, my kids even love this bread. Um, you can use it for anything. It's very versatile. I have actually taken it added like garlic and cheese into the mixture and had like garlic bread too. So that's another option too. I hope this helped you and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.